Now, my guest tonight says he's overcome countless barriers to achieve his dream. George Imafidon from Peckham has been named Young Engineer of the Year for his work on a number of huge projects, including Sir Lewis Hamilton's new electric car. He's also the founder of a charity which helps disadvantaged young people also achieve their dreams. He's very busy, isn't he, George? Not too busy for us. Thank you, George, for coming in to talk Thank to us. Um, listen, congratulations on the award. Young Engineer of the Year from the Aca Royal Academy of Engineering, but also this as well. What's this one here? Exactly. So this is the Sir George MacFarlane Award, and this was essentially in memory of an engineer who helped to set up the Royal Academy of Engineering. Wow. One of the fellows, and he was a public servant, and I've always seen myself as a humanitarian engineer. So to yeah. be able to continue that legacy is, is huge. How old are you? 25. Only 25? 25. Oh, my yeah. goodness me. Listen, engineering was always your dream, but it's an incredibly difficult field to get into. And you, you talked there before about the barriers, you know, for you. So how did you get into it? Where did it all start for you? Yeah, so for me, it actually started off in Peckham. Uh -huh. um, so I was fixing bikes, um, the bikes of my friends, and that was just all of my mum's money, actually. I was going to take money from her purse, fix my friends' bikes, yeah. free of charge, because the bike uh -huh. shops are relatively expensive. So yeah. it was like less try and take some initiative mm -hmm. and you know support the friends and community around me mm -hmm. so I did that and I was doing that for a while and then that two wheels eventually led to four wheels I started go-karting in Burgess Park not too far from Peckham again yeah. then that closed down then after that closed down I said look if I can't be inside of the car and race I'll be outside of the car mm -hmm. and essentially help to build it so yeah, engineering wow. kind of <laughs> at 14 I decided to choose engineering GCSE in England yeah. which is not common thing it's not, is it? um, no. but my brother Kenny told me to do that yeah. as opposed to motor mechanics because it would give me more options so we're just seeing look we're just seeing yeah. some of the stuff you don't I look at all this and I just it's <laughs> it's completely alien to me completely it looks so complicated and, and complex it. isn't it um you work with Sir Lewis Hamilton yeah, now exactly. am I right you are the youngest member of a commission set up by Sir Lewis um to increase diversity in motor sports yeah exactly um, what's it like working with him Lewis is great yeah. um he's obviously the team boss yeah. of, of x44 but he's also like a brother um oh. I think he's been super supportive of everything that we're doing at Motives, the mission that we're all on, and improving representation. I've got to show this sport. picture. You say he's like a brother. Look at this yeah. picture. This is you on a Zoom chat with. There's Sir Lewis. <laughs> I can just about. Where are you? <laughs> there you are. I'm, I'm like, yeah, the bottom right, one down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's great, but you know, I, I talk about you know he, he's very passionate about inclusivity and diversity within the sport, within motorsport. I and mean, it's your dream, isn't it, to work in Formula One? But it is still seen by so many people. It's just this incredibly elitist sport yeah. um, that it's very difficult to get into. So, is it changing? Do you think it is changing? So, as a result of the Hamilton Commission, mm. that was a partnership with Lewis and the Royal Academy of Engineering to essentially do some research yeah. and deliver a report. So, in effect, the entity in, it, in and of itself yeah. is complete. We completed that report and it's now available to read. Uh -huh. And we highlighted all of the barriers and produced 10 recommendations of how we can improve mm. this. And Lewis set up a foundation called Mission 44 yeah. and a joint partnership with Mercedes called Ignite in order to remove these barriers. And it Listen, is happening. It's a beginning, isn't it, it's George? Um, thank you so much for coming to talk to Pleasure. us. I, I mean, you're just super talented. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. and uh, best of luck for the future. Thanks. Thank you.